And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I look at video games, I look at commentary. And when we last left off, we were. Uh, there was a crash. There was a great big flash. Everything just changed. The molecules got to rearrange. There was a crash outside, and now we're going to go ahead and investigate it. So, anyway. Is this stage for some sort of concert? It kind of reminds me of a courtroom. Wait. Uh, wait, Athena. Behind the witness stand. What? An arrow? Ah! Professor Court, can you hear me? Professor! Wait, that's... That's who we were supposed to be meeting with? It looks like our meeting's been cancelled for us. No way! This... This can't be real! I called the police! They should be here soon! I'll go tell everyone in the lecture hall, too! Uh, okay. Um, yeah. No, wait. They'll find us soon enough once the police get here. Let's do our own crime scene investigation before it gets too crowded around here. Huh? Are we even allowed to do that? Technically, we're not even allowed to investigate crime scenes even when we take the case, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's no big deal as long as we leave it exactly like we found it. Plus. Plus. No, oh, never mind. Anyway, we should look around while the scene's still fresh. But. Okay, you're the boss! Look, I didn't mean to examine, not yet. Hold on. Before we begin. First and foremost, are you aware that I'm a lawyer? Oh, a shiny new attorney's badge. Brings back memories. I've heard that countless people live in dread on your pointer finger. Were you really that scary back then, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strike one. I've always been just as you see me here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, the thing is, like, if honestly, Phoenix is probably like a very scary lawyer. Like, I would hate to be like someone to go. Because, like, I would hate to be someone who, um, goes up against him. Because, like, jeez. Like, he. Like, it could be the most elaborate, craziest thing, um, possible, and he would still get you found guilty if you are the murderer, so yeah. A harmless sheep in wolf's clothing? Strike two. Do you have an old picture of yourself? Wait, never mind, I'm not sure I want to see it. Strike three, you're out. Hulk. Any ideas? In addition to checking the body, we should also check the area around it. But we don't have much time. Check only what you can. Nervous, Athena? Yes! I mean, no! Apollo didn't bat an eye at the Alderman's body during that case in Ninetalesville! Well, yeah, that's because he's he's pretty experienced, so... I can't let him show me up! I can do this! Just take a deep breath and focus! About the murder. So, Professor Court was... Yep, the professor I was here to meet with. Turns out she wasn't running late after... Turns out she wasn't running late after all. How awful! Here she was lying dead and we thought she was late! What was that you were saying before, boss? You never finished! Hmm? Oh, that. Don't worry. I'll fill you in. Later. But right now, let's focus on the investigation, okay? Okay, sure! Ugh, the suspense is killing me! I'm glad we get to play as Athena. I love Athena, she's so cool. I like Athena. I don't know if I've made that apparent or not. What's this? Nothing? We just, okay, just a normal part of a rock. Sure. It looks like, is there like, so this is part of this I'm presuming, and this broke somehow. I don't know where it could have fallen from. All right, anyway, where's the, here we are, examine. We should start by studying the body. Hmm, I wonder what's the best angle for this. Okay. Oops. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Oh, it didn't even reg- I clicked on this, but it didn't even register. Okay. Uh, it's from this angle. It looks like. Alright, let's go ahead and examine. Ugh. 
I guess I really do have to examine the body. No, you don't, but okay, whatever. Well, guess I better get used to stuff like this if I want to be a full-fledged lawyer! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Some Illuminati stuff right here. What do we have here? A book? I'm guessing it fell out of her chest pocket. Wait! What if it's her diary? That's the most private thing a girl has! True, but considering the situation at hand, my apologies to the late Professor Court. No, don't! I'll do it! 20 second routine report, need to speak... Hmm, looks more like a planner than a diary. 22nd routine report, need to speak with Hugh O'Connor. 23rd, meet with Hugh about that report yesterday, important. Today's the 24th, 9 o'clock a.m., prep for a mock trial final confirmation. 1 o'clock p.m., meet with Mr. Wright about training seminar. So the day before, she met, she was supposed to meet with, meet with a Hugh about some report. The day before is a routine report. Hugh O'Connor is his name. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. And there's a mock trial at 2. Every page seems to be the, uh, have the same sword mark printed on it. Printed print on it, that. I still think a girl deserves a privacy, but this may help us solve the case. Court planner added to the court record. Constance's court planner, a sword emblem is printed on the cover and on each page. Okay. Ugh. There's an arrow stuck in her side! Honestly, that's... Honestly, I don't think that's... Well, I don't, I don't know. I tend to be, like, for some reason, I guess, like, I'm just weird and that I don't really get phased by this type of stuff. Then again, there she has um, rope marks on her wrists, I just noticed. Then again, it's not exactly like I've seen, like, a dead human in... Well, actually, I have. But not, like, a freshly killed human. I've seen, like, freshly killed animals, though, so... But, like, I don't know, this type of stuff doesn't really bother me. Um, seeing stuff like this. Like, I'm the type of person who... One one of the, one of like the things that I wish that I want to do, but I probably will never do, is be able to like dissect like a human body, like you know, like you know, like you know how like like for like um like if you're like a med not necessarily medical school, but like you're really, like training to become a doctor or a surgeon or everything, I believe that you do get training with stuff like that, like dissecting human bodies and whatnot to actually see how they work, humans um, bodies that were donated. I don't think I could ever be a surgeon because there's so much pressure you do. Dealing with a living person is one thing because, like, if you mess up, you can kill them, but I could, like, dissect, like, an already dead human being. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I don't know. I just want, I just want to do it. I just... I don't know. Have, am I the only person who wants to know what, like, a heart feels like? Like, is it, like, squishy? Like, how squishy is it? I don't know. I'm weird. Hashtag mega secretly a serial killer. <laughs> anyway. Ugh! There's an arrow stuck in her side! Gunshot wounds and stab wounds are pretty common, but arrow wounds? True, but I don't know. This is a homicide any way you slice it. In other words, we have a murder on our hands. A murder? Here? No, she just happened to trip on an arrow. Like, that's an everyday occurrence, yep. So that makes this arrow the murder weapon. Well, that and the bow that shot, that shot it. Not necessarily. Right, but where could the killer have shot her from? The stage is a sea of obstructions. I'm no expert at archery, but it can't be easy to hit a target with this much stuff around. Would it be possible to kill someone by stabbing them with an arrow? Yeah, technically. I'm not sure. Guess we better do some more investigating before jumping to conclusions. You could. Arrow added to the court record. The arrow that's pierced the victim's side, it's stained, it's stained with blood. Okay. Hold on. I was about to say, you better let me examine this. Notice anything strange about the body? Take a deep breath and then take a good look. Um... Well, now that you mention it, there's no blood around it. No one's gonna make note of the freaking. Okay. Yeah, the victim's body is cold and, rig and rigor mortis has already started to dissipate. Hmm. You don't know what rigor mortis is. That's basically where your body stiffens up um, after you die. It's Latin, of course, because Latin words typically tend to have a higher register. We use them for in English for words of um, academic or legal. Or scientific things because it's just how it is. It would appear that quite some time has passed since Professor Court was murdered. Thing is, the clout was packed with students up until that until the start of the mock trial. Wait, then doesn't that mean she was killed at a different location? Oh, I know, the killer moved the body here while everyone is in the lecture hall. That's a definite possibility. Notice anything else? Um, 
Her arms are raised over her head, and there are dark bruises around her wrist. I was about to say, okay, you notice her arms are at, over her head, but not the freaking dark bruises, Savina. Come on. Yeah, the prosecutor. The prosecutor. The professor is probably tied up with something. Eventually, her wrists were unbound, and as she reached up to stretch, she was killed. Athena, are you sure you're cut out for this line of business? Actually, I'm not so sure about this theory. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's not exactly a lot to go on. I think that's about all we're going to find out from the body for now. Nice work, Athena. Your face only turned five shades of pale. I was expecting 50. Really? Really? They went there. Really? 50 shades of gray? Okay. We should probably, t we should probably take a picture of the crime scene just in case. Okay, I'm on it! Say cheese! <laughs> That's totally something you say to a dead body. Cheese? And I thought I. <laughs> yeah, seriously! <laughs> cheese? And I thought I was one of the twisted sense of humor. I think that should do it! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's take a better look around the area while, while we wait for the police to arrive. Hmm, okay. This, pi this pile of rubble sticks out like a sore thumb! Looks like broken pottery or plaster! Maybe this is the source of that noise we heard! Hmm. There's supposedly two statues on this stage. The other one's right there, are you kidding me? I seem to recall hearing that a co- that a co-ed from the Fine Art Club had made them. There were two? Then that thing over there is the remains of the other statue? Of another statue? Yeah. I thought they're gonna be like, oh, oh, here's the thing. I keep expecting. I don't know why, but like ever since I played like Danganronpa, like I just keep assuming that like even though we're like 60, nearly 70 episodes into this should be. Hold on, and this is recording session number 14, right? I believe the so 13, 13 times 3 is 60 is 39. No, 13 times 4 is um 12. Carry the one. 52? No. No, no, last is 16. So this is 17, actually. 16 times 4 is equal to... That's four, 64, so this should be episode 66. Okay, um... Yeah, 66 episodes in, I'm still I'm still thinking, like, Danganronpa logic. Like, oh, wow! <laughs> I cannot wait to play Danganronpa 2, actually. Should be interesting. But, uh, anyway. This could be related to the case. Let's take a closer look. But, yeah, I'm just expecting, like, people to be stupid for some reason. There's something buried in the rubble! The theme is Harold? Wait, we shouldn't disturb it. Let's just read what we can. Pending declaration of love, Rock, Rock's campus. Final act and tour at Love Triangle Center on campus, she Devil Juniper Woods. Level headed lawyer, course genius, and hot blooded prosecutor, course student. We'll go ahead to in, in a mock trial battle for the She Devil's Black Heart. Okay, can these characters get any more stereotypically uh, stereotypically anime than this? Seriously, look at this. We have like the guy. He's like he's like the straight he's like the straight edge you know um straight edge um lawyer. He's got the glasses, so he's like su he probably like adjusts them like all the time. Uh, kind of reminds me. He kind of looks like um what should I call it from uh, Log Horizon? Kind of looks like uh. Oh, I just randomly forgetting his name. And then we have like this. And then we have like the hot head, the hot head freaking um, prosecutor. Looks like he came out straight out of a game, like a straight out of an episode of Pokemon over here. Just like he's got the bushy eyebrows, so he's like super, you know. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's. I'm thinking of something completely unrelated. Like the really like. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the Avatar. Deal with it. Anyway. Hugh O'Connor has declared that he will confess to her if he wins. Why does she need to meet with Hugh O'Connor? I thought I thought he was a staff member, so that's why. But like, I'm, it's, but like, wait, what? I seriously wish I hadn't read that. You find that more shocking than discovering a murder victim's body? I probably would too, if I were to be honest. <laughs> What? We're talking about my friend Judy here! She'd never leave guys on like that! Athena, you don't believe everything you read, do you? Like I said, she's the type of person who's easily corruptible. You have to be careful with her. 
This article is clearly, clear, clearly written with malicious intent. I'm not buying a word of it. You're right, but it's still disturbing, even if it's third-rate tabloid material. Themis Herald added to the court record, a school paper with a malicious school scoop on an alleged love triangle involving Junie. Of course, I, w I bought into it too, didn't I? Oh, I assumed that it was okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm... I'm uh... I think that's Gavin. Yeah, that's definitely Clavier Gavin. I, I recognize that stupid belt buckle from anywhere. What about this statue? I wonder what this what, the, what this was a statue of. Whatever it was, it was a reddish purple in color. When Apollo and I first got here, both statues were already here, but they were covered up. I bet they were waiting to unveil them when the school festival moved to this to the stage. You mean this duffel bag looking thing was actually being used to cover the statues? I guess that just leaves the question. Were they broken by accident or on purpose? Hmm. What a puzzle this is. I don't know. Mr. Wright, Athena! Oh, here comes Apollo! I, I figured it was Apollo, but like, I don't know. I've never seen an, anyone move so fast! <sighs> no, wrong. <sighs> Listen, something big happened. I was at the mock trial when the police announced a body had been found on campus. That's right. And we're the ones who phoned it, we're the ones who phoned it in. We found Professor Cord dead behind the witness stand over there. What? Can you show me? What the? We've already had a quick look at the body. It's definitely a homicide. Once the police get once the police get here, no, I know it's a homicide. I'm shocked because it's the same, exactly the same. So another person was murdered, huh? Whoa there, Apollo. Take a deep breath and explain what you mean. The double murder. It's the same. The body, that is. It's just like how it, how it was in the mock trial. Oh, okay. What? It's like the mock trial? I know, it sounds crazy, but... The body's location and position. The murder weapon. The lack of pooling, pooling blood. It's exactly like the mock trial. You're kidding, right? It can't really all be the same, can it? October 24th, Themis Legal Academy, third floor, lecture hall. The whole school's in an uproar. There won't be any more classes today. A murder on campus. That's the last thing I expected at a legal academy. I'll go tell Professor Means that what we observed when we discovered the body. You two wait here until you spoke with the police. Yes, boss! Ready, partner? Uh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe we have to wait around here! I can't stay still at times like these! I hope Judy hasn't faded from the shock of this whole thing. Athena! Er, I mean, Athena! There you are! Wait, no, she did call her Athena in the, uh, in case one, didn't she? Yeah, okay. She's trying to... I. So what I'm guessing is in the Japanese version, she probably didn't address her by an, 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 an honorific. So, um, for those of you who don't know, um, Athena's Japanese name is Kokune, Kokune, right? So she's like, oh, Kokune, uh, Kokune-chan! She's probably like, Kokune-chan, uh, uh, Kokune-chan, Kokune-san! Kokune san probably. Like she's trying to be more polite. Or maybe she just even said, well then again, Kokune is Kokune is her given name, so she probably just say Kokune. Like, oh Kokune Um, what was what's uh what's her what's her family name? Like I I know they're like um what you call it, right? Like um I know all of their like given names, right? Like well I know like um I, I know like Phoenix's full name, right? Like um Naruto Ryuichi song. Um but um but Naruto, that's it. Yeah, Naruto is his uh, give is his family name. Okay, wait now. So Kokune is also is that her family? But anyway, yeah. But she's yeah, she probably like didn't have an honorific, so she was like um in the Japanese version. Then she's um added it. I'm not quite sure that makes any sense. Anyway, I'll pause you guys in the next episode.